Hello, it's Lumi again. Now I'm going to show you CV1913 Connor Startup Zep Coins. Let's open up. Okay, uh, like before on the commanders, there is aspect quite a lot of text and this gives some good tips of how to uh, get certain places and uh, how to get you to for example the um, safety switch that is that is pain in the ass to find uh, but you can read all this on your own so I'm not going to bother uh, situation is same uh, we are on the. We have just my squad into the CV90, and uh, there is an uh, enemy PC uh, spotted uh, directly in front of us, and uh, I have to act. I have to get the vehicle operational as fast as possible and be able to fire. So, um, going to show you. How it happens, uh, first uh, without telling you what I'm going to do, just to can show you uh, how I do it, I uh, trained a couple of times. And then we are going to go slow, step by step, I'm going to tell you how you do it and uh, what you need to do with this. So, let's rock and roll. That was basically it. Not my perfect. I forgot to open the ballistics yet. It, it doesn't really matter because I can show you what is the difference here. But uh, yeah. Let's do it again. And this time, uh, step by step, I'm going to tell you what I'm actually doing here. Okay, uh, we are in Gunner's place on CV90-13 and uh, here is our uh, TA3 panel it's exactly the same as a commander's uh, commander has TA2 panel there this is named TA3 and uh, we first we are going to turn power on this is a familiar looking uh, switch here we are going to wait until the fan starts that means that we can then press the fire control system power here and notice that uh, these lights set up by automatically but the gun power doesn't set up so we have to put the gun power manually and here is the uh, one button that I forgot last time it's the ballistic shield to go up but um, yeah um, Uh, I'll open the anyways. And the uh, next thing we have to do is we have to find the turret lock switch. And uh, that is because if you see here, the these lights are red and yellow. That means that we uh, we can operate the, we cannot operate the turret, and we can only partially operate the gun. We cannot operate the gun up and down, and that's it. And uh, that's not a good thing. We need to be able to stir and so on. And here you can see uh, again that uh, there is something funky going on. Uh, yellow light here, and this uh, the uh, image shows you uh, what there is wrong. Okay, commander's hatch is open, and then there is this small yellow light here that possibly indicates of this switch here. Um, if you want to, if you run into troubles, you can always use alarm info and uh, see that. Yeah. 
safety to uh, safety safety switch turret active so let's click up that and see what happens oh everything is all right back to status yeah that did the trick okay uh, we have turned on the powers here uh, gun power we have taken the emergency weights what we need to do next is the we need to go to fire control panel here uh, this section is TA4 we want to have a uh, weapon power uh, it's infinite that is low guys we turn that on and uh, if we want to fire machine gun um, if we have, have to have happen to have a commander then we can use KK but because we are going to use the main device uh, that uh, you know the joystick we want to be the it to be at the center. If we want to force it to be on the uh, main gun, then we can use it all as well as And it shows well, which one is currently active. But the soon those lady is just fine. That's why I didn't do, do it anything uh, last time. Um, yeah. Uh, in case if we need to set some ranges here, uh, we could do uh, turn this knob here. Uh, gases, uh, ET gases, it means the, the, it's manual range. Uh, ET means it's a minimum range, uh, minimum operational range. And uh, the distance, this means uh, basically the range that you want to, you are currently using. It's uh, set to battle side range here. But that's about it. Um, let's go back. And now uh, we have a weapon power on uh, the switch. Um, there is a problem, however. Um, we have just managed to reload the ammunition here. So the gun doesn't actually, there is no ammunition in the tube. So we have to press the firing key once to load the ammunition to the tube. You hear that sound? That was the ammunition went to the tube. Now, uh, sadly, we are not able to fire. And uh, we can try, but we are not able to. I can show you. Uh, that noise is basically we are dumping uh, live rounds into the out of the. the uh, next to the gun that is dumping leaf rounds there and uh, we are making some people very happy leaf ammunition on the field how nice so uh, that is because we have a gun safety switch on and this can be quite hard to find because it's on here and the, there is no way or no reasonable way you can get here unless you know how to uh, you cannot get there by pressing an key no way, you, you just can't see it. So there is a shortcut key for that and that is ALT plus F1. Now you can see it. Click it and the safety is off. And now if we hit the spacebar, uh, we are going to actually fire the gun. But that is not quite uh, enough. Uh, it's enough for the emergency. I mean, you can hit the target. But uh, more important would be at uh, this point, well, maybe not more important, but uh, convention and, and uh, it says on the instructions there that uh, set the static target mode. So cycle between the target modes until you get to safety, uh, static target mode. There is no, no green light here. That is a static target mode, you don't have to wait about the light. Uh, moving target mode is a green light and the air target mode is a flashing light. Static target mode, so now the gun is pointing exactly where your crosshair is pointing. You are actually going to hit there. And the other thing is that uh, lays and then press the spacebar and uh, wish for the best. <laughs> nice thing. Okay, um... I'm going to show you what it actually 
if I darn um. okay a little bit extra content here let's replay it if uh, this is just in case if you want truly want to know I'm going to show you how it looks this is how it looks without the If you, well, basically, if a commander would put the hand crank there, he could uh, scroll manually, and if he would uh, turn the safety off, he could fire the gun and be able to kill the, this thing even faster, because it was straight front of you. But let's say that if it would be moving, moving target, there no chance to. And yeah, you can see just basically nothing. <laughs> so yeah, just a small area. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, have great games guys.